Hello! Um, so it's dry enough. Let's continue with drawing our adorable witch person. Ooh! Enhance! There she is. With some horrible, horrible appearance right now because uh, much isn't made yet. So I will start off with dark. Red, wait, it's uh, uh how do they call it again? Burnt Amber. Because you have to know that paints are usually sold to artists, and uh, they have to know uh, perfectly, you know, uh, it has to be a sophisticated name. Right, I will stop doing the French accent because. Um, I have had friends uh, who say I'm doing it very well and that it makes them, yeah, come on, yeah, that it makes them want to punch me in the face because it sounds so arrogant. I know most, uh, the general consensus uh, seems to be that Ah, oh, French is such a beautiful language. I wish I could talk it, but it's so very difficult. I will never be able to. Uh, it's a good language for pants. That's that's for sure. Not sure if it's good or bad, but it's a very good language for pants. Like a little bit of black. Going back with red here. La la la. I'm getting a beautiful little tail now. Uh, head up. Starting to look like something, isn't it? Starting to look like I can't get the camera where I need to. Uh, I think the, the main problem is that the, um, I'm using quite a bit of zoom, so that just a very small movement will mean that. Uh, what I'm zooming in on gets out of the image. If you have used cameras in your life, I don't know, you're making a, a YouTube show about video games, I don't know, something shit like fake Lego maybe, or I don't know, a channel where they, they just draw and it's super boring, you know. Oh, wait! A little bit of ochre. Ochre is a tremendously useful color, I find. It's one of my... Uh, well, the, I use lots of uh, white and lots of ochre. These would probably be the two most used colors, which... Uh, yeah, this way she's entirely in frame. Yeah, this is good. Lots of ochre, lots of white. Uh, it depends on who you ask. Uh, some people use colors I would never ever consider. So generally, I kind of have something against very artificial colors. Little pads. Yeah, this looks better already. And the eyes. This takes lots of. I will not talk now. You make a tiny little mistake and the face looks like crap. We have evolved to be able to, to read faces. So when you're drawing an anthropomorphic animal character, it's a little bit easier in a way because uh, the brain doesn't really register uh, the mistakes as well as if it was uh, a completely human character but you still want to do it in a way that looks actually nice 
and not like horror, especially if you're doing a children's book. You know, um, even the characters that are monstrous, you can you don't want them to be too monstrous. <coughs> I never had that with the. The fear of the monster below your bed. I think it's because what was below me uh, was my sister, beca uh, because we had like a bunk bed and she was sleeping in the lower bed and I was sleeping in the upper bed, so it was not really a monster. Uh, I knew there wasn't really a monster, obviously. <laughs> Right on, what can I say about the painting? Right now it's just detailing. She's starting to look like something. Um, but I'm, uh, some very small details here I want to add. And then, uh, Small details. Small. Ah. Then let's get back at the face with the whites. And this is going to be me taking all my concentration. Again, one mistake and everything looks wonky and wrong. Yeah, I think this is nice. <laughs> this is the uh, part that needs the most concentration. It's her face. Of all the characters, of everything here, it's really uh, the face of this one little cute character that will take all my focus. Because I, I want it to be really cute and you know, look like it should adorable that's how it should look like i like cute things i like my cat it's cute and silly and we like that very much oh yes yes we do and then i just feeling the blacks do, 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 do. this is not a racist comment by the way it's just the color I am using. And if the color I am using happens to be the color of your skin, I think it, it would be worrisome when I am using the green paint. Now, if you're green, uh, I, I really want to see that. Unless it's uh, because you're covered by tattoos, then it's cheating. Like generally green. That would be fun. Maybe plant people. Maybe they were wrong all alone, uh, all along, and it's not lizard people. It's plant people. Ta-da! <coughs> now it's on a few liters. In the background you can hear the church going clong 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 because it has nothing better to do. Right, it stopped. Just adding a little bit of lights here. Yeah, some aspects uh, will take more concentration than others. You remember the stone, how much uh, concentration I needed. I could just speak around like 
because there was nothing going on. Uh, it's maybe it's even good to, to talk when you're doing something like this because uh, uh, stones and plants they have a an abstract quality to them, and if you're not focused as much, maybe it helps to to make it less focused and less regular. I don't know. Okay, just two little things left for our little protagonist. A white little tip for her tail. A white little marking in her ear. La 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 la. There we go. A durable little witch. Is foxy. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, if there are children watching this, uh, um, you know what? Maybe it's better to just cut the, the sound off completely because I am an adult, and sometimes I will make jokes that only adults will understand. Uh, understand not sex jokes. Don't worry. Sex jokes are kind of maybe anybody can do them. Come on, it's not very mature. Children do them. Right, here there will be uh, another tree. So I will do the... I will mark where the tree will go. Yeah, this is where it will go. Covering up a little part of the background the text will go here so I better be careful and I don't go too far in the empty space I will not f complete the tree now for a simple reason uh, uh, there is something more that will come here and it's you will usually have a much better result if you put the last layer at the last moment on top of everything else. Otherwise, you're kind of forced to to be extremely careful at how you you do the lines so that you uh, how you do the, the painting layer so that you don't paint uh, on top of the layer that should be on top but you have forgotten to paint and now you're looking a bit silly oops a little paint there on my finger yeah there's some minor detailing I think the highlight was the witch anyway which is a usually a highlight Especially if they're tremendously adorable. Yeah, there will be another character here. Uh, and two more there. Uh, these will be a little easier to draw. So, yeah. I think we're good to go now. Have a nice day. I hope you have learned something. I didn't. No, I did. It's that this camera is quite difficult to set the way you really want it to be set. Yeah, that's I learned today. So yeah, uh, don't go out uh, to hug foxes because they're wild animals and although adorable, they might bite. So uh, don't do that with wild wolves too. Or with toast, or with anything. Be healthy, be cool, and have a nice day.